Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the infamous pop-out window. What we got here is a 1954 oval window ragtop beetle as part of our Build-A-Bug projects for a client of ours. And uh, we installed, or what the client wanted, was pop-out windows in the rear quarters. Now, the 54 Beetle had the small rear quarters, okay? So basically, 1964 and back, you had the smaller quarter windows, okay? Once you hit 65, the quarter windows got bigger, so your window, of course, got bigger. You got different pop-out windows. Uh, but what we're working with here is uh, installing pop-outs that do not have holes pre-drilled already to install the window. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If you have, say, a 62 and earlier, they're not going to have the holes pre-drilled for the, uh, the hinge and the latch back here. Uh, but if you have a 63 and later, that's when they started pre-drilling the holes from the factory. So it's a little bit easier for you to install pop-out windows uh, after the fact. Um, but the ideal way to install the pop-out window on your beetle that does not have the holes pre-drilled is to do it prior to having the headliner installed. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier later on once you have the headliner installed. So if you do have a headliner installed, you're just going to have to feel around for those holes and sometimes that could be uh, a little tough depending. Uh, so uh, I'm going to get behind the camera now and I'm going to narrate for you how we installed uh, the early pop-out window for a uh, say a 64 and earlier beetle. Um, you can use these same techniques for 65 and later as well. Uh, just remember, you guys are lucky you guys got the holes already pre-drilled. Uh, now we have, um, these are reproduction pop-out windows that are, that are made on the market today. Uh, they run you about 400 bucks. You still got to get the pinch welt, usually in the kit. But they give you the latches, they give you the knobs, they give you the hinge covers. They give you all the hardware that you need to put the window in. And what's really nice is too, the window's already assembled. So you got the seal already in and you got the chrome. Uh, already assembled the window, the glass is already put together, so you just got to really just pop this thing in. Um, uh, sources to find original uh, pop out windows, you'd have to check eBay, check the samba.com, or go to a swap meet, something like that. So, uh, but um, all right, that's enough of my babbling. I'm going to get behind the camera and narrate this for you and show you how to install pop out windows. Okay, so here's your pop out window kit. We got this kit from jbugs.com, and as you can see, the glass, and seal, and chrome, and hinges or already assembled. You do have to put the rear latch on, but I'll show you that later. Here's your hardware kit that they give you, the fastening bars that are threaded already, and they give you the screws to go with the kit to fasten the window down. Here's a pinch welt that you're gonna have to buy that is separate, you either get that in black or cream. And uh, here's your window opening. We're gonna be putting this in. Again, we're test fitting this. This is what we're doing prior to the headliner installation, prior to any insulation, or headliner installation. You're going to want to test fit the pop-out window into the window opening prior to putting the headliner in because you want to make sure it fits right. You don't want to mess around when the headliner is in. So here are your screws. These are the first screws we're going to want to put in to attach the latch on the back end of the quarter window. So just fasten those down. These latches are labeled left and right. So you want to fasten that down. And then you're going to want to open up your drill bit set and take a look at what drill you're going to need for uh, those screws to fasten through the body. And then you're also going to need a punch like this to get a starter hole going or a dimple. So we're test fitting the small screw in which hole and which drill bit to use to get the hole going. And it's going to be the 5 30 seconds drill bit. So again, if you have a 63 and later beetle, you're going to have the holes probably already pre-drilled. So this is for 62 and earlier. But what I'm showing you here is you're going to want to lube the seal and lube the window opening so the seal fits in nicely. So you can just get some WD-40 or some silicone and basically rub it around the window opening and on the seal. Put it liberally on. And then you're going to need two people for this job. So one guy on the outside, one guy on the inside, and uh, basically set it up into place. And you want to make sure it's even all the way around, so the chrome is even, the ribs are shown evenly from top to bottom. You don't want it up too high or too low. As you can see here, the ribs are shown perfectly all the way around the window opening. And you're going to want to get the hinge over that lip in the window 
opening right there to get it started. Then come on the outside and make sure the window sits evenly all the way around the opening. You don't want any gaps or any holes because then when you fasten that window down there might be a hole and then when it starts raining you got, you got water coming in. So you got to make sure that seals all the way around. But what I did here is I get a, a block of wood and a hammer and I hammer that hinge as close as it can be to that lip on the window opening there. And then I get my starter punch to basically make a dimple into the metal. As you can see I press and it clicks and what that does is make a dimple into the metal to get my uh, uh, drill bit seated properly without it wandering. And I get my drill bit and I start drilling the holes. And we keep the window in place because it's a good guide and I recommend you doing this because that also then protects the body on the outside. I've done this once before where I drilled through and I slipped and sure enough, I wound up scratching the body on the outside. The window in place here is a good idea. Uh, so that'll keep your bit from uh, from traveling. Now here are the screws you're going to need to fasten into these plates. Now I'm going to show you there's a problem with this sometimes. But once you put the plate behind there, you want to get it set up. Grab your punch or small pointy implement to keep the fastening plate from moving. So I insert the punch to hold the plate steady and in place. And then the, usually the machine screws that they give you have a very hard time catching the plate because there's no point on them and they're fine threaded. I like to grab uh, the eight uh, screws. These are, I believe, uh, half inch screws and that grabs the plate without a problem. It's got a point and it gets into the hole and it pulls that plate right in. And that's what you want. It's a lot easier to work this way, and especially afterwards when you put the headliner in. When you after you take this all out, and when you have the cloth there on the or the, uh, the headliner material on the door post, it's very difficult to use that machine threaded screw to try to grab this plate. So these sheet metal screws are much better. As you can see, it's nice and tight, and good fitment, and there's your holes drilled when you take the window out. But uh. Now the, the back latch area is a little tricky, so you got to be careful here. You got to set this up correctly. You don't want to be too far or too close. Uh, it's about an eighth inch from the first line that you see, not the lip, the first line. You got to make sure that latch really sits flush with the body, and make sure it's even up and down. You don't want it too high or too low. I did some starter dimples with my punch. see here and then just test fit it one more time you don't want to mess this up here this is crucial and then here are the eight screws that they give you sheet metal screws that they give you and the 764 bit that we're going to use to drill the pilot holes I drilled two holes already but what I want to do is set it up and catch the two screws and then the other two holes I can use my drill again do not force this too much. If you force too much, your drill bit can go through and then punch the outer wall of the beetle and then you get a dimple outwards into the paint. So you know what? You got to really be careful of that. Tighten your screws down. You remember, you want to crisscross when you're tightening these screws down. You don't want to go all out on one screw. So you want to go crisscross and, you know, snugly go through tightening them. And once you close, you should get a nice snap just like that when the window is closed and come on the outside and I'll take a good look at the seal and make sure everything is flush with the body which it is that's good excellent now undo it you turn the knob to tighten the hinge the latch there and now the windows open and come outside take another good look nice Everything looks good. So now you got to basically take the window out because now you got to put your headliner in. And uh, this again it was just a test fitment. If you already have these holes pre drilled, all you're going to want to do is just put these screws in place because you're going to want to feel these screws later on once the headliner is in place. So now that we have the headliner in place, the door post area here, thank God we drilled those holes because now I can find them, use my punch, and get that all set up. Again, 63 and later beetles, you have these holes already in place, so you could just start doing what I'm doing right now. Uh, but you did want to put the screws in prior uh, to this back area where the headliner covers them. So I just cut the headliner very little, very small slits, 
to expose the screws. Now I know where my holes are. Grab your pinch welt and start hammering that into the window opening. Get that into place. Now they usually make it a little bit longer for you depending on which windows you're working with and you want to cut it just above the top hole on the door post and the bottom hole. Just very s slight distance, maybe a quarter of an inch, half inch at most. And just like what we did last time, you're going to want to get your window, hammer it in place with a block of wood and hammer and then use your punch to line up the holes perfectly with the hinge. Like you see what I'm doing here. I'm use it as a lever. That's some leverage to, to line it up. Start your screws. Get that into place. Tighten the ones in the back down. Again, kind of crisscross, little by little. Don't do don't go all out on one screw at one time. Then you're gonna get your cover that goes over the hinge. But again, they give you these machine screws, which I don't like, but I like these uh, sheet metal screws. Again, they're eight. Uh, those are, I believe, three quarters of an inch, or you can use an inch. And I use those to put into the cover and to fasten down the other two holes on the fastening plate. And that's it. Your window is in place. Test it out. Open. Close it. Check it out. And that is it. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com, or visit my website, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care. Thank you.